Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we're going to be providing you with a beginner's guide on the OpenSea NFT marketplace, showing you how to buy, sell, trade, and explore the endless world of NFTs. So before we begin, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, and let's dive straight into it. And here we are, my friends. We are currently on the OpenSea website. Now, once you're here, guys, we're going to want to get ourselves logged in, of which we're going to want to have an EVM or Solana-compatible wallet of some kind. And once we're ready, guys, we want to now get ourselves in, as I said, and I'm going to be using MetaMask myself, and I'm going to be starting on the EVM chain. Now, no matter what NFT that you have your eyes on or whatever network that you want to use, you can replicate these methods across any network, whether or not that's Ethereum, Solana, the BNB chain, AVAX, and so on. So, for example, guys, once you've got yourselves logged in, the first things that I'm going to show you are to buy, sell, and trade NFTs. And therefore, the first thing that we're going to do is very simply choose an NFT that we want to buy. So, exploring the world of OpenSea is very nice. It's sleek. It's a beautiful user interface. It might be a bit confusing for those who are brand new. But considering that you have your eyes on a specific NFT, I'm going to show you how to interact and, of course, get yourselves an NFT. So, scrolling down, guys, you can see all of the different collections. However, on the left-hand side, we can go and take a look at all of the collections in the entirety of web3 so first step is to very simply choose the chain so you can see we've got ethereum abstract base it doesn't matter which network you want to use it will all work the same like i said so for example in my case if i wanted to get an nft on the base network i'm going to toggle base next i'm going to choose my nft of which i would want to obtain of course this is not financial advice guys and i'm not telling you to get this nft this is very simply just how to get one so first step i'm just going to choose one it could be this based egg once you check it out and this is the nft that you like you're going to very simply choose the nft that you like so we've got the based egg 77840 or whichever ones you want it all starts descending from floor price and floor price means the cheapest price possible for the nft that you're getting so if for example you wanted to filter it down by the highest nft price of this collection you can see this one costs one billion dollars this one costs three hundred and fifty one thousand dollars no one's going to buy it but if i was very simply to do it from low to high i can very well get this based egg you can see the last sale guys so down below it says it was sold for four dollars and 92 cents so whoever held that nft then and sold it for four dollars and 92 cents and is now selling it for 20 cents well, that's unfortunate. But if, for example, you wanted this NFT, you've got well, option one. Option one is to very simply click on it and make an offer. Making an offer enables you to buy it at a cheaper price. So, for example, if I wanted to buy it less than the 20 cents, if I wanted to, I could very well enter an amount that is less than 20 cents. If, for example, I just wanted to buy it straight away, I could do so. I hit that buy now button. But if you want to take a look at all of the details of the NFT, you can see everything regarding the traits. You can see everything regarding the price history, where it's come from, the blockchain details, more about this collection and all other NFTs from the collection. And you can also see the orders, activity and so on. But if you did want to very simply buy it, guys, if you hit that buy button here, you're going to see automatically it's going to come up with the transactional details of which if you're happy, you just let it go. And as you can see, we are now getting ourselves the NFT. So once the transaction is confirmed, you can see congratulations, you've got it. You can view it on your profile. So if you see right here, guys, we have now got this based egg. It's not listed. And now you can see it alongside all my other NFTs. Now, how do we get to this page? Well, this is our profile page. And we can see that on the left hand side of which you can see everything from your NFTs, tokens, listings, offers, portfolio, X, Y, and Z. Now, I've apparently got 1,112 NFTs, and that is ranging from base network to all other kinds of networks. Now, I've supposedly got 1,112 NFTs here. And for example, guys, now that we're here and now that you know how to buy yourself an NFT by making an offer or very simply buying it straight away, what we can do is we're going to now show you how to sell your NFTs. So you can see this based egg. If, for example, you had this in your portfolio or, for example, if you had another NFT in your portfolio, which you can even filter on the left hand side. For example, if we wanted to get this based egg one on the market, we can either A, list it for sale or B, send it to someone straight away. Now, for example, if you wanted to sell it straight away, once you hit list for sale, you'll be able to see that we've got a whole bunch of filters that we can use in order to sell this NFT. So if you wanted to, for example, sell it for the price that you've just bought it, which was 20 cents, you can do so by hitting that floor price and that will trigger it to the cheapest price of this NFT collection. If, for example, the trait floor you can see is 19 cents, this means that basically any NFTs with the traits that it has 
what is the floor price of it and well of course it is that amount that we've got here you could also do it so it's adjusted for fees it's entirely up to you but if you wanted to make a profit on it all you're going to do is choose a manual amount for example i don't know if i wanted to sell it for three dollars and sixty cents i can do so but of course i don't think anyone's going to buy it so let's just do i don't know 29 cents an eight cent profit i know it's not that much guys but it's just as an example however you can also see here that we've got an option to do it for 30 days an hour 60 minutes three days 90 days custom or whatever you want so basically what this means is that you can list this nft for a certain amount of time before it is not available on the market so if you wanted to list it for only 30 minutes of course it would only be on the market for 30 minutes where it would be visible if you wanted it on there for 60 days for someone to snatch up by all means you can have it available for 28 cents at 60 days and you just review the listing and boom automatically guys you're now going to list your nft on the OpenSea marketplace so by doing so guys you're now going to have it listed for everyone to buy and you just need to wait for someone to check out the nft collection and snatch it up if they want it that's now how to buy sell and trade your nfts guys what's next from here well we could very well show you exactly how to do it all over again but there's no point so from here you're just going to want to explore the open and see world however you wish and of course if you have your eyes on any other nfts you can very simply replicate the methods of which we've shown you how to buy and sell nfts nonetheless after that guys we're just now going to show you through the OpenSea application as you can see we've gone through the collection section we've gone through the discovery after that we've actually got a token section now what is this well OpenSea recently introduced a section where we can actually swap cryptocurrencies whether or not that's meme coins whether or not that's blue chip like Chainlink or ethereum or whatever you can swap cryptocurrencies directly on OpenSea, taking it away from just an nft marketplace now for example guys i could check out all these trending tokens i could very well check out the top tokens like tether ethereum usdc like i said or i can even check out new tokens i can even filter them down by ethereum solana abstract ape chain whatever i want but let's just say as a tutorial i wanted to show you how to swap tokens let's just say for example i wanted to swap into i don't know the chain link token here as we can see i'm now going to filter it down by the network that i want so i can very well choose the ethereum token and the ethereum network which i'm going to do i'm now going to decide to swap into Chainlink, which is the token down below now once you're ready you're just going to very simply choose an amount that you want to swap from if it was six dollars it could be six dollars if it was a thousand dollars whatever you want let's just say for example i wanted to get myself roughly ten dollars worth of chain link tokens i can now swap and boom we're now getting the tokens directly into our wallet so guys this is enabling us to use more features than just nfts within this marketplace i think it's fantastic although it is not the desired place to swap cryptocurrencies in the world of crypto this is a fantastic choice for NFT lovers who are consistently on the OpenSea platform. They don't need to leave it because of features like this. Nonetheless, guys, another reason why people are using this is because of the reward section. And over here, if we get ourselves logged in, although this might not be live by the time you're watching this video, because of course they may have an airdrop that have gone live and there may be an update in this section. However, here, guys, they've got a Voyager section which enables us to earn XP for the upcoming OpenSea airdrop. So here, for example, if you were to purchase any token, same chain on Solana with a 10 USD minimum, you would get 100 XP. Down below, if you were to get a gaming NFT from Verify Collections with a $5 total minimum volume, you would, for example, get 50 XP. You can see where I'm going with this, guys, but there's just little quests that we can complete just by swapping tokens, buying NFTs, selling NFTs, and doing everything on the OpenSea platform. This is the reward section. After that, guys, you can check out the activity section where everyone is obviously either A, listing NFTs, B, buying NFTs, X, Y, and Z. After that, you can take a look at the drop section. So this is basically a launch pad for NFTs. You will find the latest NFT collections launching. So you can see here, the new one, Azuki Mizuki, whatever it is. Back in bloom, X, Y, and Z. If you have any of your eyes on any of these NFTs, by all means, this is the place to be. But friends, for those who also want to create NFTs, you can go to the studio section, create an NFT. So for example, now that I move my camera over again, on the left hand side, you can see the new option, which you can see here, a schedule drop, which is from the launch pad, or B, just an open collection, which you can launch instantly, put in the name, input in the images, and then launching it on whatever chain. You can see that I've messed around and I've created a couple of NFTs, all of which are absolutely hopeless. 
However, my friends, this is the OpenSea platform. Just take a look at your profile, explore the platform however you means necessary. And of course, if you have any questions whatsoever, you can let us know in the comment section down below. If you want a full OpenSea airdrop tutorial, that's in the description down below. But friends, we appreciate every single one of you who tunes in. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Remember, we are not financial advisors. We do not give any financial advice. And we can't wait to see you in the next video.